Hey everybody, so uh, I've been posting some slide stuff and some songs lately, um, but I um, really wanted to work on getting some lessons going. Um, one of the most common things that people ask me that I do that's a little bit different than everyone else is I play lap style guitar. Um, I have a resonator guitar here um, with really nice high action because I put what's called an extension nut on there. You can see it's just a little piece of metal with grooves and then it slides right over your regular guitar no, and boom, instant slide guitar. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is getting a steel. Um, there are a few different kinds. I like this, the bullet kind. Um, there is one that looks like a railroad tie, and then there is one that looks like a railroad tie with a curve on the end. You can also use a regular bottleneck, um, but I think you'll find that the weight of this um, really contributes to, you can hear, it's a good solid piece of stainless steel. The weight of this really contributes to the sound that you're going to get. Um, so, um, assuming you already play a regular guitar, get yourself an acoustic guitar, resonator guitar, you can go buy yourself a square neck, you can buy a Weizenborn, you can do any of those sorts of things. Um, you can make a slab out of a 2x4 um, and throw a pickup on it. There's any number of ways that you can accomplish this. Um, this is one of the first instruments that ever came into the blues. I had what's called a diddly bow, which was a single string instrument that they would just... I mean, you may have seen that. You can look that up. Um, for now, let's start with holding the slide. See how it kind of sits right between my first and second fingers? And then I use my thumb to hold it. Now, I've got my fingers here free to use mute behind the string as they slide up, or I can lift them if I want a different, that different sound. So let me move my guitar and you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to do here. My camera, I mean. So muting, as I just mentioned, is one of the most important things. If you notice, these fingers are dragging, okay? And then I'm using the slide. You're not going to hear these notes behind here. Now, if you listen, if I don't mute, you hear notes behind here. And a, what's called a ghost note, kind of ghosting into that. Um, so if you mute, it doesn't sound like that. So it really cleans up that sound. There's times when you want that sound, there's times when you don't. Learn how to control it. On your right hand, I a lot of people use finger picks. Um, feel free, it gives you a, definitely a whole different, more clucky, bright sound. Um, I just prefer fingers, usually. Um, and then be able to clamp down and mute. I want to be able to play any note. Sometimes I do, but getting a nice, clean tone with muting is going to be one of the most important things that you do. Notice my hand here again, not moving. It's just playing the notes that I need to play. Um, I'm not going to get into right hand technique and which notes you play and all of that, which fingers you use, but for now, just suffice it to say that you keep your hands muting here blocking down whatever you don't need. Um, on this side, the most important thing is basically learning control of where that is, and you're going to have to train your ear a little bit. Now the slide, as opposed to playing regular guitar where you put your finger right behind the fret, you're going to want to put your slide right over the fret. Now depending on your guitar, it might be a little off, you might have to listen. That's the major scale. You should learn that. Um, you should also figure out what kind of tuning you're going to play in. I um, play in open tuning, which is an open D generally. D, A, D, F sharp, 
Sounds good, just like it is. You slide up to the fifth fret. You have your four chord, the G, and then slide up to the seventh fret. You have your five chord, which is the A. Okay. Um, so anyway, those are your basic chords for a blues or for a lot of country tunes, um, any number of tunes which you can get with a 1-4-5. Um, but anyway, what I would start with sliding, open string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th, 9th, 11th, that's the major scale, back to sliding it up. Practice sliding up and stopping. You hear the difference there? Practice sliding up and vibrato. Practice more than one note with your slide. That's um, my really quick slide guitar lesson. I'm sure um, if you're interested in this, I can help you a lot further. I wanted to give you just some basic pointers that you can get some sounds and get started. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, tips, uh, things I can help you with. Have a great day.